Hi, it's James. For this new version of Affinity, I implemented a quick adjustments panel as a user-friendly way of applying non-destructive adjustments. I'll show you how to use it. I can expose the panel by going to Window, General, Quick Adjustments, and it will appear floating on the right-hand side. Alternatively, however, if I move into the Color Grading Studio, the panel will be shown by default on the left-hand side. Quick adjustments can be applied to pixel layers, image layers, picture frames, groups, and embedded documents. You'll know very quickly if you're on an unsupported layer type, since the controls will be disabled. I'll start with a very simple example. This image is slightly dark and lacking in contrast. I can increase both brightness and contrast sliders by a small amount to instantly address this. Notice this creates an adjustment layer clipped into the current layer. So what I've just done with these sliders is non-destructive and can be changed or reversed at any time. For example, if I were to start manipulating the hue slider, I would immediately realize I don't want the effect it provides. I can click the reset button to the right here, and the adjustment will be removed from the layer stack. Setting a slider to its default or neutral position will also remove the adjustment. For example, I'll bring exposure up and this will add an exposure adjustment layer. If I bring the slider back to zero, the adjustment will then be removed. Moving on, I'll select one of the picture frames on the next page. Here, I might just want to sharpen the image up slightly, so I'll increase the sharpness slider. This will add a live unsharp mask filter layer and clip it inside the current layer, so we can apply filters non-destructively as well as adjustments. Moving across to the squirrel here, I might want to alter the white balance. I'll tweak both the white balance temperature and tint sliders to achieve this. And I also want to modify the contrast of the squirrel. Using the contrast slider is perhaps a bit too aggressive. So I'll reset that, and I'll actually try reducing the shadows slider instead. This makes the subject a bit punchier and helps it to stand out from the background. Now, at the bottom of the panel, we've also got some automatic adjustments you can apply. This image of the two swans was shot on a misty morning and is really lacking in contrast. I could click this second option, Auto Contrast, to evaluate the image and add a non-destructive adjustment to address this. I can still apply other manual adjustments to complement this, so I might increase brightness and perform some highlight recovery. Also, just moving back to the cover image and selecting it, I could try the Auto Colors option, which will increase the saturation by a tasteful amount so the image looks more colorful. Quick adjustments can also be masked. For example, if I switch to the Move tool, then double-click on this picture frame to select the image inside it, then switch to the Object Selection tool, and quickly make a selection of the heron, any of these quick adjustments I apply will be masked to the selection. I might increase contrast and decrease highlights, for example. I could also introduce some texture enhancement with the clarity slider, and this would avoid applying it to the background detail. I'll then deselect with Command D on Mac, Control D on Windows. You can see all the adjustments on the Layers panel here with the masks applied, and I can quickly hide them and show them again to see the before and the after. Finally, I'll just show you that you can immediately reset all quick adjustments on a layer. If I've made a series of adjustments, and I want to discard them all and get back to the original image, I can click on the top right icon here to access the panel options, then choose Reset Adjustments, and all adjustments will be removed. Note that this will not include any adjustments you've added manually, just the ones created via the Quick Adjustments panel, so it won't wipe out any other layer work you've performed. 
And there we go, that was an exploration of the Quick Adjustments panel in Affinity. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.